Welcome to Still in Canada. And today's topic, legal or safety? Um, um, we'll have to decide. see every aspect of what I'm doing. We're going to talk about how to build, how to run, safety aspects that are going to be involved. And that one's actually going to be a new video come up soon for that one. And what it takes to become a legal distiller eventually. And what is involved hopefully down the road to bringing this to a legal home distilling avenue. So today I want to talk a bit about the legal aspects of distilling in Canada. And let's just get straight out. To distill spirits in Canada is illegal. There's no, no way around this. You can't do a, a distilling for fuel. Um, you can't do distilling for uh, analysis. None of that. I've spent the last two weeks on the phone with transport, uh, not transport, with the um, Ontario uh, Gaming and uh, liquor license uh, board uh, with the CRA, which is Canada Revenue Agency, that's the federal, which we have to get licenses for, for distilling. The local RCMP, local uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, for those who are not Canadian, the uh, Ontario and the Nova Scotia Provincial Police, um, as well as Member of Parliament in Ottawa, which is a federal Member of Parliament, and another member of parliament in uh, provincial and through all these people we're trying to find out how can i actually distill in my house i can make beer i can make wine but the legally distill spirits in my residence there is no such thing as legal it is illegal in any aspect you can own a still for doing um, essential oils and for doing um, distilled water but that still can in no way be configured to do an alcohol run so it, it can't have uh, bubble plates into it it's not allowed to have a uh, deflagrinator one of these days I'll get that word right um, and it uh, it's limited on what you can do so if you have a worm sitting by your still you're illegal you can't do that we don't have the laws that have been approved in New Zealand and why don't we? It's still prohibition. We're still suffering from that decisions made in 1930. And the laws have never really changed because there's never really been a big advocate for changing those laws. Now, we did. Uh, there's a lot of noise made for brewing. So being able to do your uh, beer at home and to make wine at home, there was a big stink made about that. And the laws got changed. It allows it. So. We do have to make that noise here as well, and in the US. In the US, there was a proposal in front of the parliament last year, and it was struck down. Uh, unfortunately, the, um, it didn't pass. It, I don't know how far the readings got, but it is struck down. They are still trying it, and I, th I believe it's called homedistillersassociation.org. Have a look at them and uh, see what they're up to. There's no proposal for this year, so they're still in limbo and in Canada there is nothing on the record I've talked to the member of parliaments and there's no acts or proposals before the uh, committee at all so we're sitting in limbo and essentially what I've been told is when the US does get it passed then we'll look at it but come after July this year I can have beer make it myself I can do wine, no problem. I can even grow my own grapes and you know do everything here in the in the shop. And I can grow marijuana in the house, and I can smoke that. Which, sorry, that's not my cup of tea, but 
it will become legal after July. But I still can't make a spirit, even for home consumption. So, uh, although you're going to see me take this adventure, the only way you can do it is to become a legal distillery. Sorry, I'm working on my car today, so that's why you're not seeing any still pictures. Uh, you have to apply for the, uh, uh, the federal uh, distiller's license. You have to secure a bond with the CRA, and there's many other things that you have to do. It is a huge runaround, and in all intents and purposes, if you're not planning on being a commercial distillery down the road, it's not worth it. The bond alone is prohibitive. So, once again, how you keep going is up to you. I am in no way advocating you doing this illegally. I can't, especially after two weeks of research, giving every legal outlet my address and name. I couldn't. I, I couldn't even think about trying to do this illegally, and I wouldn't. It's it's not in my nature. So I had to go legal route. And I also, although we'll be doing a fair amount of work here in the shop, the building, everything else, all the stilling that will be run through my uh, still will be done off location. It'll be done at a commercial location, which is a legal entity of distillery. So that's the hoop I had to jump through. I wish I didn't. Um, and I'm hoping that when you're watching this in the future, it will be a legal thing for you and you're just uh, you're catching up to all these videos and you can just keep on going in your own house so i hope that happens for you um i know i will be advocating for it in the future and we'll see where it goes from there but once again there are some places in the u.s that are advocating now and uh brujas i believe is the name of the company that is supporting it mainly they're looking for donations as well as they're looking for support so if you get a chance, go there. Even if you're Canadian, it's a U.S. company that's doing it. But well, once again, Canada, if the U.S. passes the law, it's so much easier for us. And we can do it pretty quick after that. So that's where we're at. In the U.S., there is a fuel. There's an exemption to distill alcohol if you're using it for fuel purposes. Um, in Canada, no such a thing. There is no permit. Uh, the only way you can do it, once again, is to have a distiller's license and be in a commercial uh, venue in order to do that. So, that, uh, the, the idea of doing that is just not gonna happen. Uh, wish we had that law, but we don't. Distilling for analysis. Now, if you've done like I have, and I've spent months researching this on the web, and Canada, for Canadians here, in Canada, we don't have as much online uh, dealing with Canada. It's, uh, I've been picking a lot of the Canadian regulations from the U.S. sites. And then, of course, reading the uh, 2001 exercise tax in Canada, which deals with alcohol uh, uh, production. Some of the information you'll read is incorrect. Uh, when I saw that there is the possibility of distilling for analysis, for the planning of the future of opening a distillery, I thought, perfect. That's exactly what I'm doing. I can travel that route and claim all, and hopefully still be able to do it at home. Not happening. Uh, you actually have to devise a recipe. And when I was talking with the uh, uh, CRA, the Canadian Revenue Agency, what they essentially told me is you have to come up with a recipe that you believe is gonna work, you hope is going to work, take it to a distiller, legal distiller, have them run it, have them market using their name, and then that can be submitted for analysis. And that way they can ensure that anything that is not submitted for analysis is destroyed legally and that the uh, distillery, the legal distillery, which is paid a huge bond, you know, up to $200,000, they're on the hook for all this. So I'm thinking you're gonna have a very hard time trying to convince anyone to do that for you for a home still. Um, I'm not gonna say it's out of the question, but yeah, that uh, what 
could have been read as a loophole online on certain articles it's not a loophole it's just not possible uh, it's too prohibited again so where does that leave you well I've talked with a few police officers and you can read online where some of them have thoughts and you know what all the ones I talked to had the same thoughts and essentially they're ignoring you if there's no sales once again they said if they are directed to come to your place of residence, they will come and they will charge, they will remove or repossess every piece of material you have and more. And there could be a jail time. So once again, there's no difference between me making half a liter of alcohol or me making 200 liters and then bootlegging it. It's all going to be the same. The judge will charge me just the same. So be cautious in what you're doing. I don't advocate you do this. I say wait. Wait for the laws to change. They will change. I'm positive of that. When we look at New Zealand, who changed their laws quite a few years ago, I believe 96, 97. What they saw was not an increase in. Uh, drunk disorderly people they did not see an increase in house fires they did not see an increase in child be children being drunk what they saw and this is the same thing that's happened here there's a parallel line here in Canada with the brewery industry what they saw was increased taxes the opening of micro distilleries pubs breweries not micro distilleries uh, micro breweries new pubs, new employment, new cash income to a lot of small businesses that are supporting the brewing industry. It changed quite a bit and we see that here in Canada where the brewing industry has just jumped. There are microbreweries everywhere now and in all honesty they're wonderful. I'm pretty sure the big guys aren't crazy about it, and I'm pretty sure that they're doing some work to squash and going into a micro distillery. That's a personal opinion. You're seeing all the ridiculous sides of moonshine. That's not what we're here for. Definitely not what I'm here for. I do not like the monogram moonshine. Uh, it provides the image of in the backwoods, using unfiltered water. Uh, picking the fish out of the water as you're trying to use it and whatever else is in that water that hasn't been tested. No, I'm after high quality distilled product that I myself enjoy and I believe the public will as well. So I could have went into far more detail. I could have held up a lot of paperwork and I even have a whiteboard for some of you who will laugh at that. I have a whiteboard that will be used later on. And I'm sure some of you have seen that before. But the intent is that uh, I come to a small distillery and you're going to see the process and you're going to see what I do. And even though I'm going to have to move my still to that distillery location in order to use it, you'll still see every aspect of what I do. And it's not going to be different than what you would do as well. So in the future, when you can do this at home, you should still be able to follow me right along. All right, have a good day folks. And uh, if you like this, if you find this interesting, hit the subscribe below. Uh, that helps me a lot and it keeps me energized to keep on going.